The initial our data point was a stopwatch and a lap time in a, in a muddy Silverstone field around 75 years ago in our first race. And like many industries, you know, we initially started off purely mechanical, cars design with pencil and paper. And in the 90s was kind of our, our data revolution. And we went from pretty much having not enough data to having too much very rapidly. So the first time a Formula One car ever had any kind of monitoring or, or live telemetry on it was in the 1980s, 1986. I was a McLaren. It wasn't actually even even a Formula One car, it was an Indy car in the States and it had uh, 14 channels on it. You could only get the data after the race when it was downloaded. It was McLaren that first started having a proper live data on a Formula One car. And for want of a better word, it was terrible. So 1986, the Australian Grand Prix, it's old Alan Prost, he'd run out of fuel. Like every good Aussie, he ignored the instructions carried on to win the race but from those humble beginnings we've got a lot better and now our issue isn't not enough data or not correct data it's actually trying to understand the data that we need within the sea that we have.